Hello, and welcome back to Cradle. I still, luckily, have my lightsaber. I guess let's go slay this demon over here. Mm, oh god, that thing looks scary. I want to check that out before we do more. So can I just, like, wave this at him? Take this! Yeah! Slain! Take that, you foul beast! We actually have a weapon. Nice. So, what the hell is this awful, awful, awful creation? Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh, God! Is that harmful? No? I thought it was gonna, like, spawn some of those shadow creatures. I love this sword. I don't want to lose it. Why can't you keep your inventory? It's so sad. Does that happen again if I come close again? Yeah. Huff it. Get a real good sniff. Oh. I am stuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they uh, certainly didn't want to uh, avoid traumatizing kids, I guess, at this place. I guess it's fine. Any emotion is passium, so... Make the, the kids terrified and give them PTSD. It'll be good. We get passium from it. Honestly, maybe not too far from the truth. If they just made, like, the amusement park just so that people would feel emotions, like... Both joy and fear and thrill and... Sadness and whatever. Just anything, as long as you're just feeling something, it's good. Alright, so let's get to these different rides. This looks like it'll probably work. Like I can probably... Nope. Yeah, I can probably start that, but hold on, I want to have a look around first. Oh, some of these slides are like broken. Does that mean I can't go up here? Because otherwise I'm, I'm curious how that's going to work. So, yeah, Northern Lights... And up here, was that number two? I wonder how this thing works. Like, is it... It doesn't look like it's, you know, sucking me up or anything. Like, the glass is broken and stuff, so it wouldn't... It wouldn't keep the current, so that seems... Seems to imply that it's, like, magnetism or something, which means I must be a robot, right? Even though... It seems like I don't think I am. Tropical Islands. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm fine. It's good. No problem. Yeah, I don't think we're human. I don't think we're human anymore. I wonder if I can climb up all the way to the top. I may have to try that. Oh no. Oh no. It would be kind of hard to do. Maybe we can find a place where it looks more promising. Yeah, this doesn't open. And there's nowhere else to go from here. I'm fine. Looks like the fall damage is not very severe. Like, it's only if you fall for a really long, long way that you just, like, space out for a second before you're fine. And this is number three, Volcano Crater. Number four up here.
Deep underwater. Yeah, looks like we could actually walk up here. This almost looks intentional. I guess maybe because this doesn't work or something, and this is how we get across to this one? Yeah, this is definitely intended. But then I could jump across here if I want to, or we can drop onto here. Oh, I guess this is like crashed down. I see. At least we're not sliding on this. I mean, we are, but it like stops you at some point. Doesn't look too easy to slip off. No, come on. Let me do it. Ah, uh, it doesn't let you jump when you're on the slope. Or like, that slope that's too sharp, I guess. Can I crouch and do it? I just want to climb up, man. I just want to get to the top of this thing. That would be fun. Nope, no way that's going to work. We need something slightly less steep. Oh, crap. And I'm just fine. Yeah, this is strange. I, I thought every time I died, I would, like, warp back to bed again. But no. So here's five. Distant planet. And then does this work? No. Okay, so yeah, the elevator is out of order, so that is why you're supposed to get up there, but why would I? Is there a point to getting up there? We will see. At least I know how to do it. And where's the sign? Is this supposed to be the sign for this one? Oh, six is Magic Lakes up there. Is this going to take me, like, up there, or...? Not sure how this is going to work. And then... Yeah, so that's seven, that's eight. So we didn't miss any. This is, like, not broken down. It's supposed to be there. So seven is... Let's say? Drewless sands? What? Endless sands, I see. Endless sands. And eight is Forgotten City. Nine is Ancient Ruins. And ten was Cloud Country. I wonder what this orb is, is about. Cut these up. Can't use. Hmm. It looks like I can use something on these, but... I don't know what. If we had one of those, like, phytocopier... Uh... Sheets or covers or whatever, maybe, but probably not. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's try and, like, get up to these ones as well. See if there's anything... Anything here. Oh, that's also out of order. This one as well. That one works. You're at, You're the, at the location. Hold on, I'll try to open the doors. Why are we going to endless sands? Because there was a module here? Well, I, I don't want to do that yet. Huh. Yeah, you'll have to wait with that. I want to go down one of those broken slides. I'm assuming you can't. Probably not going to have this, like, slide animation. Because, yeah, this one is broken, but this one is fine, but we can get up here and then jump over.
Because, yeah, this definitely seems very intended that you're supposed to get across here. Frame rate's kind of chugging along here. It's not very smooth, sadly. Magic lakes. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Yeah, this doesn't have like a proper slide animation. You just go down because, yeah, it's broken. Alright. So then, what's this right here? Can't look at anything. Oh, automatic report card. Not sure what that means exactly. And I can't sit here? No? Never mind, I guess. This is nothing. Huh. Oh, is that, like, supposed to be some sort of weird compatibility thing? You just sit here and stare into each other's eyes? I don't know. Alright, I guess we just go to the location then. That one's also broken. This one was not broken. No. But we can't get across to here. As far as I could see. Maybe from the other side, but yeah. Okay. What's in the endless sands? Abrupt music cut. VR time. Yeah. VR time. You can't turn off the crosshair, can you? Oh. Games! Hooray! And yeah, there's the breathing module. What? Pavilion. Isn't that spelled with two L's? Endless sands. Collect 30 blue cubes. What? To gain the breathing module. I... Okay, this is odd. Hurl cubes into the uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. What? Like a detonation thing? Don't fall into water. That reduces your scores. Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Create platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. What? What are you talking about? Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. This sounds like nonsense. This actually sounds completely nonsensical. Create platforms, valuable cubes are hidden inside of those? What? This makes no sense. Guess we just have to learn by doing. So we don't want to jump down, or do I want to jump down? What? But I could, like, right-click to make a burst of cubes? What was that? Huh? What? Am I just supposed to be collecting blue cubes and throwing it into the stream, I suppose? But now I've, like, fallen, fallen down too far, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, I guess that's what's happening. What was the white cube? Huh? What happened? I'm just gonna see what happens here. 
It just reduces my score, I guess, yeah. Okay, this is weird. And I can put them in my inventory as well. I kind of need to read those rules again to understand what's going on. Oh. Thought I could, like, kill it or something. I don't know why the stream turned off at that one time. It's one line or something. Why is it swirling? Oh, now he broke that. Whatever that means. This is strange. I'm not sure if those do anything. Yeah, I don't remember what the white cubes were for. Oh, I killed him, I think. Did that lower my score? I don't know. It's kind of hard to see where these blue things are. This is certainly not what I expected from this game. I feel like I'm running out of cubes. Oh crap. I don't know if they, like, get sucked up or something. No! Aw, oh, man. But we only have cubes left on this floor, right? There's one there, I think. Uh. Like, I think I've just lost. Can I just reset? I don't really want to do this anymore. I don't know if I can, like, do something with this guy. He just keeps seeking out the blue ones, I guess, and ruining it. Oh yeah, like, we're done, as far as I can see. So, what do I do? Shouldn't there be, like, a way to just stop? And say, no, I can't do this. I'm confused. I guess you can just jump in to the stream like that. But aren't we kind of done? Yeah, I definitely would like to see those rules again. I don't remember, like, what blue or white, or, like, if you could do something special. Something about, like, a burst of cubes. But nothing is happening now. So, like, what do I do? Just quit? 
Can I die? Nope. I just, I can't do anything. I don't really understand. Like, at least let me reset, you know? This is kind of strange. I guess you just quit. Just quit and resume and I assume it'll be back, but that's very strange. Like, why would you code it that way? If it becomes obvious that you can't win, then you should just end the game and reset it. Okay. Collect 30 blue cubes, yes. Hurl cubes into the up uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. What does that mean? Is it like, if you have them in, in your inventory, do you just hold down the right mouse button to throw all of them? Create platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. That That's so stupid. That, that's nothing. That doesn't mean anything. Apply blue cube to a white cube. White one to create a platform. Okay. Alright. So, hold. Nothing. But if I do this, and like, collect them... And now, I select one. Yeah, okay, alright. That is, uh, kind of weirdly phrased. And right-click, I see. Right-click just deletes the cube without putting it in your, your hand, which is nice. And then you get, like, more cubes from these, but... What do you mean, valuable? They don't seem very valuable to me. Okay, yeah, you can get, like, more of them. Screw you. So you just want to keep doing that. Oh, crap. Red cube? Wait, what's the red cube? Huh? I don't know what the red cube will do. Can I place a red cube on a white cube? No? Does that give me a minus, a deduction to the score? Cutting me off. And I still throw out the white one there. It's not like smart about that. And not throwing the the one you obviously don't want to throw. That's fine. Oh no, it's sucking in the blue cubes. Do it, man. I need these. This sure is weird, but I mean, yeah, it makes sense as a little mini game. Am I done? Hooray, you win. You win. Okay. Yeah, the rules were very poorly written, but like, once you understand what's going on, that was, that was pretty fun. Like, the... 
mechanics of either using blue cubes for score or for like making more cubes and hoping that you get more than you put in is kind of interesting. Not sure what the red cubes were about though. So is this going to be a thing? Like, we now give her the breathing module and then she's like, okay, now I need this module. Go back and it's probably in this mini game. And then we just keep doing like mini games in here. Is that going to be a thing? I don't know. But I guess for now, we'll go back home and check in with Ida and give her her, her precious breathing back. Alright, so that's uh, one minigame completed. Very unexpected, I did not think. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they There's always alive, people like that. That I do not remember. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Uh, how do I leave? That's another issue here. I'm not sure how to leave. Didn't look like there was a way to climb out here. Nope. Oh no, I lost my, my lightsaber. Aw. That's sad. How do I get out of here? Maybe it's on the left side instead? Restore Ida's breath to help her focus on her memories. Find a way to exit the territory of the complex. Yeah, find a way. Thank you, very helpful. Just get out, lol. You know what, screw this. Okay, I'm glad I just looked this up because this sounds stupid. How the hell would you know to do this? It's like, find a broken down hovercraft like this one, I guess, is it? Yeah, and you just have to know that this panel is here and can be interacted with. That's a stretch. That's a real stretch, especially when it's broken down here. Well, that kind of seems to imply that we're not going to be entering and exiting all that much. The length of braking distance is calculated automatically. Contact tech support in the event of equipment breakdown. Go to the right. And that's it, okay. Do I just like click and hold this or something? No? It's just, it's going. Okay, so we are going back in. But yeah, that, that step I feel could have been communicated a little better. I wonder what happens if you, uh... If you check this before you do any of that? Would he say something like, oh, I can use this, but... I mean, maybe you can just do it right away, because then you just... Break open a, a path. And that's good. But yeah, I guess I, I kind of have to leave it off here. I want to go and give her her module back, but... I suppose we'll do that next time. Because I'm assuming there's going to be a pretty lengthy conversation, so... Alright! We played some VR games! Oddly enough, and uh, I'm assuming we'll be doing more of that, but we'll see. I guess that's the quote-unquote gameplay in this game, is just playing mini-games, maybe. But maybe that's the only one. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.